What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of a glitchy pressure setup, kind of a concept, honestly, that you can use out of the nickel 155 double a gap now this can be found in the pittsburgh steelers defensive playbook and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe i think you're going to really enjoy the content here we try to post content every single day that can help you get better at madden whether it be offensively or defensively and i've just been kind of tinkering around with this 155 uh double a gap so i just wanted to kind of share this with you um i don't have an ebook out on this yet i'm kind of working on one right now uh under the radar but if you want to get my um if you want to get my text membership i do want to let you know about that so my text membership is basically a way that you can get free offenses and defensive schemes sent to your cell phone every single week via text message um, it's also a way for you to ask me questions every video i'm i do i put my cell phone number at the top left hand corner of the screen so if you want to sign up for the text message membership we've already got i think seven uh six or seven offensive and defensive schemes in there for free so if you want to uh, go ahead and get all of that content. They're about one hour. So you get a one hour ebook or not ebook, but one hour guide every single week where we break down a formation or, um, or a scheme. So that being said, for you to sign up for that, all you have to do is pull out your cell phone, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Okay, guys, so you can do this, honestly, out of any play in the formation. Uh, and I just thought this was kind of interesting. So, uh, like I said, you can do this out of any play. I personally really do like um, to actually do this out of the cover two. Any base rush play, to me, is what makes a lot of sense. The SS Dog 3 and the Outside Dog 3 are two of my favorite plays, too. But I'm not going to go into those too far uh, in this video. We're going to save those for another time. But anyways, let's go over cover two. So, literally, all you're going to do... Um, if you take a look here now, obviously I, I think I put, uh, let me, let me, uh, go into my coaching settings here. I was messing, messing around with the formation if it's flipped or not. So let me turn auto flip back on and then let me come back out. Sorry about that. Um, but basically what you're going to do is the cool part about the one five, five double a gap is you have a lot of linebackers on the field. And one of the things that you can do with linebackers is you can kind of move them around uh, based on what you want to do with them. So we'll just come out in the cover two. And all we're going to do is we're going to QB contain. And then we're going to take this guy right here and just swing him out here just like this. That's it. And what you'll see is this blitz will scream in off the left edge. As you can see right there, super fast pressure. And the cool part about this is we can do this with only sitting two. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. I don't necessarily recommend that because this uh, this angle here on the backside, if I just re-blitz, if I just re-blitz JJ Watt, I'll, he'll sometimes come free too. He doesn't always come free. But what you'll see is you're either going to get that, that B-gap pressure that you see right there or you're going to get edge pressure. Now, one other pro tip with this, please hear me loud and clear, um, something that really is helpful whenever you're blitzing bunch Take this guy right here and man him up onto the running back. You're going to, and I'll show you why in just a second, but what you're going to see is look at that pressure just completely screaming off the edge. I love that pressure. Now, I want to show you this real quick. So let's say that they block a running back. Honestly, I haven't tested this yet, so I don't know if this is going to work. I just wanted to show the container blitz primarily. But what I'll show you here is if I man this guy up on the running back, what oftentimes happens is let's say they try to block the running back to pick up this blitz. You should see that that guy will glitch him out and you're going to get a gap pressure just like that. So that's the beauty of this is that we're able to really mess with the blocked running back, which is the number one way people are going to pick this up because uh, let me show you what happens if they delay fade. So if they delay fade their tight end uh, out of this, again, you just swing him out here. He doesn't have to be on the line of scrimmage. You're literally just swinging him out until he's on the contain. But what you'll see is if they delay fade, oftentimes, and that looks like that time it actually picked it up, but I have found that the delay fade is actually very inconsistent whenever you blitz uh, in con, like whenever you use blitzing concepts like this. Another little trick you can do is you could pinch your line. You'll see that that's going to spread him out just a little bit more, get a little bit more space on this rush, and you're going to be probably given a better looping angle. So again, I'm just going to delay fade. And what you'll see, there you see it, and that was almost in. It didn't quite come in, but... Um, it almost did. So anyways, the beauty of this is literally you're only blitzing like not even, I mean, you don't have to blitz these left side guys. I'll show you that real quick. So let me show you this. So this is the two man rush again. And you do ideally want, uh, Simmons to be on a contain. That's the ideal. Uh, but anyways, what you'll see now is you'll see here I zoned everybody out. So I'm only blitzing two people. And the snap of the ball, you'll see here that typically he'll come around the edge. If he doesn't, then just blitz three. Um, you can definitely get this in by blitzing three. 
and I'm not even hovering or doing anything with my user whatsoever. If you want to, in my opinion, um, the best thing to do with your user um, would be to basically like click onto one of these two linebackers right here and just hold left trigger right in here. And what you'll see is it'll make this blitz even more consistent. As you can see right there, just looping around the edge. Um, super good pressure, in my opinion. So this is nickel one five five double A gap. Like I said, if you want to get my free uh, breakdowns every single week, be sure to text the word Madden to two zero eight two one eight six nine zero zero. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this defense. I find this defense to be super super glitchy. Um, there's a lot of people that really are liking this. Now there's some things that I don't like about this. I'm gonna tell you that real quick. I don't feel like um, at least I haven't found it yet. A way to get pressure against max protect. So, uh, like if they block seven, I don't really have a great system for that. But like right here, take a look at that pressure. And I'm, I'm messing up my blitz angles, but but bear with me here. Um, and part of this is practice mode kind of freaks out once you run the blitz the same way a couple times. But anyway, I'll just click onto a safety here, and what you should see is we should come. There it is, right through the gap. So it's either going to come most of the time from the edge or from the gap. What I also like about this two or this one five five is I've actually had a lot of success with the show blitz feature. Uh, and the reason why I like this show blitz feature uh, is just because it gets these guys into the box. And what you'll see here again. Um, that time we got a bad rush part of this is all placement too. wherever you place him It's what I like about this is this is actually a very similar style um, of pressure to the 146 uh, I think that's what makes it super glitchy. So again, you're just kind of swinging this guy out But you want to make sure that he's actually on the contain so ideally they're right next to each other This is also going to be fairly sound against the run because think about it You're going to be like right here with your user and you should see here again, and there's that pressure that we absolutely love from this formation. So, um, you know, this is just something to tinker around with, man. Um, obviously, the beauty of this, let's say that they're uh, blocking the running back a lot against you. You can audible to a play like mid blitz. And what I like about that is what you'll see here is let's say they're blocking the running back. Well, you could go to mid blitz and you should have pretty good, uh, good, good odds, at least getting one person in. Didn't get anyone right there, but I didn't, you know, I haven't labbed that setup yet. But anyway, mid blitz ideally. So, and you don't even have to move anybody for pressure out of mid blitz. Like the, the basically the format here, I mean, you should see, we're going to get somebody clean right there. I got that. That's the other thing that I really like about this prep, this uh, formation for whatever reason, I'm not sure exactly as to why, but for whatever reason, I find that basically just literally if you blitz six out of this, oftentimes you're going to get this B gap pressure. Even if they block a running back, you get that little crazy B gap pressure. So if they block a running back, you're getting like B gap. And then if they're not blocking a running back, you can get that two man. So anyways, this is just a kind of a starting point to something I'm working on behind the scenes. Want to give you an update. And then also, if you want to, I would encourage you to sign up for my text message membership. Again, it's completely free to sign up for that. And the reason I would encourage you to sign up for that is because every single week, I, I don't release these to my general YouTube audience. These are very specific. Only people that have texted me get these videos. So if you've not signed up for that, just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And make sure that you text the word Madden because that's a keyword that's going to put you into my uh, group so that I can send you that playlist every single week. Uh, at this point, our text membership's getting a little bit uh, high in terms of people that have joined it. And so uh, that's just a way to make it a little bit easier uh, for you to be able to get the content faster and, and exactly what you want so once you hit me with that text then what i'll do is i'll respond to you with a link to the playlist and we'll give you all the guides that we have already released this year in addition to all the guides we're going to release so thanks for watching the video and if you want to sign up for that text the word madden to 208-218-6900